With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. In this question, we have to look at the given options and identify the correct answer. And in each of the options, we have been given an example of homeothermic and a poikilothermic organism. Now, first of all, let's try to understand the significance of these terms. These terms are used for any organism based on its ability to maintain homeostasis. What do we mean by homeostasis? Homeostasis is a constant internal environment. So if we are saying that this animal maintains homeostasis, we mean that the body temperature and the osmotic concentration inside the body of this animal is going to remain constant despite the changes in external environment or the changes in ambient conditions. We also see this in human beings if we talk about the body temperature. Human beings are normally going to have 37 degrees Celsius body temperature even if the ambient temperature is much higher or much lower. So, we will say humans maintain homeostasis. They maintain a constant internal environment and the temperature of the body as well as the composition of their body fluids is not changing along with the ambient conditions. So, this ability for maintaining homeostasis or for thermoregulation is very convenient it is very beneficial for the organism because now such an animal can survive in a wide range of habitats and it is more likely to become more widely distributed. But we will see that in most of our living world, such ability for thermoregulation is not there because a lot of energy is required for maintaining constant body temperature. Energetically, it's a very expensive process. So we will see that if we talk about our animal world, in most of the plants this is not seen, almost all plants will be incapable of any kind of thermoregulation or any kind of homeostasis. But even if we talk about the animals, they are very selected groups in which such constant internal environment is found and they are mainly the birds and the mammals. So these are known as the homeothermic organisms or the warm-blooded animals because they have the ability of thermoregulation and they maintain constant body temperature whereas on the other hand if we talk only about the vertebrates then we have the fishes amphibians and reptiles also and all of these groups are poikilothermic that is they are the cold blooded animals which are not able to maintain a constant body temperature so if we look at our options they are calling man homeothermic here so this is correct human beings are warm blooded but cow being a mammal is put under the cold blooded or the poikilothermic organisms so this is not the correct option now they are calling cockroach homeothermic which is not the case and they are calling man poikilothermic again wrong in option c they are saying lizard is homeothermic while we already mentioned that fishes amphibians reptiles all of them are poikilothermic and frog is poikilothermic this combination is correct but only in option d we are finding that both of the examples are given correctly for homeothermic they are saying cow because it is a mammal so it is warm-blooded and for poikilothermic they are saying frog which is an amphibian so it's going to be cold-blooded or a poikilotherm. So over here our correct answer is option D, where correct examples of animals have been given on the basis of their ability to maintain homeostasis or to thermoregulate. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.